Hi and welcome to Blog Niche Tools from WP Toolkit. And the first step is to install the plugin on our blog. So first thing we're going to do is go across to our blog, log in to the admin area, choose the menu option for plugins, add new, and then click on upload plugin, click on choose file, navigate to wherever the file is stored on your hard disk on your local computer, choose the file WP Toolkit blog niche tools zip, click on open, then click on install now and let the WordPress system go ahead and install that plugin on our blog. Once the file's ready, we simply click on activate plugin and give it another moment or two while WordPress switches that plugin on for our site. You'll get the message that the plugin has been activated and if we scroll down, you'll see we here uh, on a menu have WP Toolkit blog niche tools with the different options available. Let's go ahead to the bulk article importer. Now that is it for installing and setting up the plugin. There are no other settings to fiddle with. It is a very, very quick and easy plugin to get up and running with. The bulk article importer works on a two-step process. First of all, click on choose file, navigate to where you have your article files stored, choose a relevant article file, here I've got a Forex uh, sample file with seven articles in it. Click on open on the zip file and then choose to, uh, the upload zip for processing option. It'll take a second or two and then it comes up with the options screen for how those are going to be posted to your blog. And the settings really are fairly self-explanatory and simple. First of all, the date and time to start posting. So usually choose the next day. Then you want the interval to post at. The default is 24 hours, but I could change that to whatever I want. Let's say I want two posts of the day. I could change it to every 12 hours for the posting interval. And if you wanted to post on a less frequent basis, perhaps change it to 72 hours or maybe 168 for once every seven days. You have control over how often the articles that you've imported are posted, how frequent. Okay, the next option is the author under whom these articles will be posted. I've got a lot of uh, authors on this blog, so I can just go with select a random author for the different articles. Uh, you may not have as many. You may want to post them all under admin. Entirely up to you. Either choose a specific author or go with the select random author and the system will select one for you automatically for each post it makes. The next option is which category you want these articles posted under. So choose from the selection of uh, categories set up on your blog. I'm just going to stick with Forex for this one. The last option is in case you want to publish all the articles immediately or put them into draft uh, instead of scheduling them to post. At the moment, I've got it set as scheduled, so it will follow the time scale that I've set up above. If instead I wanted to put them all in as draft posts, I can choose draft and it will just throw them all under my posts option as draft posts. Uh, obviously that gives me the chance to then edit them and make changes to them before I publish them, which we'd recommend. Or you can simply go with publish and the plugin will go ahead and publish all of the articles in this particular zip file for you straight away. It'll ignore the time scheduling basis, it will just go ahead and publish them. Obviously, if it's a live blog, we'd recommend you go with scheduled posts to make it look more natural. And the last step is to click on process articles and it will process through that file and add it to your list of imported files. This lists all the previous batches of articles that you've imported. We can see that this latest one still has articles remaining to be posted to the system, to WordPress. Uh, the previous ones have been uh, completed, so anytime I want to, I can come into here and click on Trash. And if I want to get to this menu system, it's down here under WP uh, Toolkit Blog Niche Tools. It's the Imported Articles menu option. Okay, So you can see which articles are still being imported and posted and which ones are finished that you can delete the job if you want to. If we now go across to our posts page, we can see here are the posts that we've imported and you can see they're all scheduled to be posted live over the next few days on the basis that I've set up when I imported that batch of articles. Now there's one final thing to cover with the article importer. There are two formats of articles currently supported by the plugin. Uh, they are where you have the title of the article at the top and then just all the body text underneath it in a text file. The other option is where you have, let's bring this one up, uh, the formatting as title 
word count, summary, keywords, and article body. Now we have both options covered for automatic uh, detection and importing. If you have lots and lots of articles that are in a different format, please feel free to get in touch and we will look at adding that format to the plugin so that it will auto detect your particular format of articles. Uh, but where possible, go with these two and we do have a lot of articles built into the, uh, included with the plugin for you and we have an upsell where you can get another uh, over 100,000 extra articles as well to add in. So those are the two formats of articles that are currently supported by the plugin and it auto detects for those two formats. If you need something else, please get in touch. We'll have a look and see if we can add it to the plugin for you. Okay, so the next part of the plugin we're going to look at is the trending keywords, which you can see is the first menu option under the blog niche tools item here on the left. Now, once you click on it, it brings up this screen and it again is very, very simple to use. All you need to do is type in the keyword that you're interested in. So the articles that I've been importing are based on Forex. So let's go with Forex trading. And you can see straight away, it automatically populates the different search engines uh, available for keywords where we can get keyword suggestions from. And we've suddenly got a lot of keywords all based around Forex trading. Now here's a couple of really simple, but very useful keyword tips for you. First of all, don't get too tied up in what the keyword search volume is. What you actually want to do is for every post that you have, target two or three congruent, relevant keywords for that post. Have it as a bit of a mixture, uh, but keywords that are relevant, and keep doing that for all your posts. Trying to target a high traffic specific keyword is a very difficult thing nowadays with SEO. Um, it's far easier to go for long tail. So the more uh, words that you have in the keyword itself, the more likely you are to be able to rank for them. And the best way of doing it is, as I say, go for two or three different congruent keywords for each individual post. And secondly, mix and match the keywords that you use from the different search engine results. So on one, you might use keywords from Google, YouTube, and eBay. On another, use Amazon, Bing, and Google etc. You get the idea. Mix and match them up. The more articles you have with two or three relevant congruent keywords, the more likely you are to get good rankings for a variety of keywords and get that free traffic that you're after. Now to make sure I've got these keywords available when I get to my article and edit it, all I'm going to do is click on copy keywords to the clipboard. Uh, there we go. They are copied across and if I go across to a text file, I'm simply going to use control V. There we go. It's pasted all my keywords from the keyword tool into a text file so I can quickly dip into those and grab the ones that I want when I'm in an article editing it. We'll look at that process of putting the keywords into a post in a moment, but first let's go across and go through how the free stock photos option uh, and feature of the plugin works as well. Now the stock photos feature again is really simple and easy to use. You just pop a keyword in and click on search. But before we look at that, let's cover a couple of the options that are available here. First of all, the sites we search are Pixabay, Unsplash and Pexels. All very good sites for good quality images that you can use in your posts. You can choose to untick any of those if you don't want to use a particular one. And do feel free to go across to have a look at them, uh, do a Google search for each one, check out what they're like, uh, read their terms if you want to, make sure that you're happy with using all three. Now we do also have the attribution included ticked. We highly recommend that you leave that ticked to comply to their terms, to have the attribution, the credits on the image when you uh, grab a copy of it to include in your media library and then post on your posts or include on your posts. You don't have to if you don't want to, but we highly recommend that you do. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in a search term. I'm again going to go with Forex trading because uh, I know those are the articles that I've recently grabbed uh, to post on the system with the bulk article importer. And very, very quickly it fills up with all sorts of different images from the three different sites that you can simply scroll through and find the ones that you're interested in. Uh, they aren't always perfectly matched. Uh, but you can fiddle around with the keywords to get better ones that suit your needs for a particular post. Now when you spot an image that you like and that you want to use, all you do is hover over it and you can choose to download it to your computer or, and this is what we recommend, 
add it to the media library. When you add it to the media library, the attribution, as I mentioned earlier, will be included. If you download it to your computer, it won't be. So you're going to need to take a note of the attribution there and make sure that you add that to the image manually. So let's just click on Add to Media Library. It'll take a second or two and we'll come up with a confirmation message once it's added. There we go. So that image has now been added to my media library and will be available to me inside any post that I'm editing. Uh, and again, just scroll on down, find any images that you like. If you find some more, uh, let's say we like this one as well. Again, choose the image you like, click on Add to Media Library. It takes a second or two. Once it comes up with a confirmation, click on OK. There we go, we've added another one. It's that easy and this will go on and on and on. There are lots and lots of images available on these sites. Uh, pretty much for any keyword you can think of, you're gonna find great quality image images that you can use in any blog post. Okay, so next let's head across to uh, edit a post and have a look at how we can include those images and our keywords in a post. Now there are a couple of different ways we can use our images within our post, uh, depending on the theme that you use. For instance, in this one, I've actually got the option for a featured image, which will appear at the top of the post as a default. I could simply click anywhere in the post and choose add media and choose to pop that somewhere in the post if I want to. Very, very easy. Click where you want, click on add media. Up come the images that we've chosen. You can see those two that we picked earlier. Click on the one you want and you can see here's the attribution in the caption and then simply click on insert into post and that will appear in our post. Now at the moment I'm on the text version, if we went across to visual, you'd be able to see that actually appearing in the post, there we go. So we've got the image and we've got the attribution there. But as I say, what I'm gonna do on this one, I want to actually use it as a set, as a featured image. So I'm gonna click on set featured image. And again, it simply brings up our media library for all the images we've chosen within the stock photos option. Choose the one you want, click on it, Again, it has the attribution, click on set as featured image, and then I can click on update my post. That will now appear at the top of that post within this particular theme. That featured image option does depend on your theme, what kind of, uh, what, which particular WordPress theme you're using. Some have it, some don't. Now you can see just how quick and easy it is to include great quality images in your posts. Simply use the stock images search, Grab the ones you want by adding them to your media library, come into your post, pick them and include them anywhere in your post or as a featured image, however you want. Okay, now let's look at the keywords that we grabbed as well. Now there is one point that you need to understand about using the keywords, you will need an SEO plugin, but there are some great ones for free that you can use. So simply go to the plugins page, do a search on SEO plugin, and these are the three best ones, Yoast, WordPress SEO plugin and all-in-one SEO pack. Whichever one of these three you want to use, doesn't matter, they all have the option to pop keywords into your post. And whichever one you choose, simply click on the Install Now button to add it to your blog. You'll see I've actually got this one active and installed already. So let's go back to our post, and if we scroll down towards the bottom, we'll see the extra options that that plugin adds. Specifically, what we're interested in here is the keywords option so we can pop our keywords in. Now remember, we grabbed a bunch of keywords and popped them into our text pad. So all I'm gonna do is zoom back to that and find a particular keyword that I like that is relevant uh, and congruent with this particular post. So this is your guide to successful Forex trading. Uh, let's go with Forex trading strategies. That's quite a good one, seems relevant to this post. Uh, pop that in, put a comma. Let's go back and grab another one. I actually like Forex trading for beginners as well. Let's grab that, pop it in, and we'll grab one more. Uh, let's have a look through. Uh, let's go with Forex trading for dummies. Okay, so I've grabbed three keywords from my suggested keywords file. I've popped them in separated by commas. You can add as many as you want here, if uh, as many as you need to. Two or three tends to be the right sort of number. If you stuff keywords, it's not gonna help. Google is fairly good at working out what your article is actually about. We're just giving it some extra hints, some nudges to say, this is what we want uh, to show up for in the search engine results. Now there is one more way we can use those keywords to get an extra bang for our buck from them. Uh, first of all, make sure that you've separated each keyword with a comma so each uh, keyword phrase, 
and all I then need to do is highlight the whole lot of this and copy it, I can then pop that in as tags. So paste it in there, click on add, and you can see that we've now got those keywords in as tags as well. Now I've used the same phrases for the tags as the keywords, but you could use different ones to target a different selection of keywords in the tags instead if you want. Uh, I tend to focus for two or three keywords on an individual article for this blog because there are so many articles on the blog, so I can do that for individual posts. If you're posting less often and you want an article to be more general and have a wider variety of keywords, then yes, use more keywords in the tags and have different ones to the ones that you've actually popped in the keywords down here. Then all we need to do is zoom back up to the top, choose update to actually update our blog post so it now has those keywords in it. Okay, so now we've covered the article importer, the keywords, and the stock photos option within the plugin. The idea here is to get good quality content, but keep it really quick and easy to get that up on your blog and make sure it's engaging and gets the, the traffic rankings in Google with those keywords that you want. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to get in touch with support if you need any more help.